so just throwing out a magic. No, he got arrested. He got arrested. He didn't get a ticket. He got arrested, ma'am. What do you think he got arrested for? Twenty one times. Know. He could let's have say been shoplifting. No, no. Let's say shoplifting. How does one get okay. arrested twenty one times for shoplifting? Is that egregious or not? Nowadays, 20 bucks barely gets you a burger and fries or maybe a quarter tank of gas. You know what it will get you, though? For just $20 a month, you can get unlimited talk, text, and plenty of 5G data for my cell phone company, Pure Talk. And this is top-tier coverage of America's most dependable 5G network. I want to make sure you heard that. Pure Talk gives you the same quality of service as AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, but for half the cost. The average family saves almost $1,000 a year, all with no contracts and no activation fees. You can bring your phone or get great deals on the latest iPhones and Androids. To make a switch, dial pound 250 and say keyword Brandon Tatum. When you do, you'll save an additional 50% off your first month. Choose a wireless company who shares our values, who supports our military and veterans, who creates American jobs, and who refuses to advertise on fake news networks. Instead, they pay us. Dial pound 250 and say keyword Brandon Tatum and make the switch today so you can actually afford the burger and fries. That's pound 250, pound 250, and say keyword Brandon Tatum. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, speak about or at least have a a caller who's called in to talk about Donald Trump. Uh, I think this should be a good conversation. And I, and I don't just have people call in and listen to or people that call in or accept people that call in who agree with me all the time. I, I welcome people, if you disagree, to have a cordial conversation. I'm, I'm open to that. So I want to go to, um, is it Elaine from Houston, Texas? Yeah, online too. Okay, Elaine, what do you got? Well, first of all, um, you, you appear to be a former police officer, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what is the most risky position for a police officer to be in? What is the the most risky event that a police officer can encounter? Traffic stops. In, a in domestic traffic. violence calls. Exactly. Okay. So we can agree on that. So I kind of took offense to you calling people that are citizens sorry asses because we we need. To I didn't say that word. I did. I, I didn't okay. say that word. But, well, you said okay. sorry something. Okay. So it's kind of condescending for you to say that those of us. I mean, we're taxpayers, and police officers are public servants. Can we agree on that? Yes. Okay. So what's the condescension there? I mean, what is this? I'm not. I'm not sure what you're saying. I was condescending. What you're, phrase? You're what phrase did I say that you took offense to? Like, what? What did I? What, were, what was I talking about? Cars, or like, what kind of people are you saying that you are? Well, you call people who need the police sorry, right? You. It was in your little. I'm monologue. saying the people. The people who are complaining about police, who are ungrateful to police but they want protection from police. Those are the people that I'm referring to. Yeah, but anytime the p- people need the police, generally it, they're traumatic or stress, stressful experiences, correct? I mean, so, but at the end of the day, what, what, whatever people, whatever the difficulties that police have to deal with in dealing with people, um, you, you, police officers took a job to be a public servant. So why does that give you an added reason to complain about the public? I'm not getting your... Well, let me I, let I, me explain it to you. Clearly, you don't understand it, but let me explain it to you. What I'm telling you is that people that sacrifice their lives for others, being a police officer isn't just a, a job that you just do, just put money in your pocket. You are making a sacrifice for others, which is an honorable thing to do, and it deserves respect. People should respect law enforcement officers for what they do. And police officers don't just somehow turn into non-citizens. They are also taxpaying citizens as well. And so you have taxpaying citizens just like you, that, but, but also make an ultimate sacrifice to put their life on the line for you. And so I think that people should appreciate them. And when you don't, it's unacceptable to me. But 
Yeah, because okay, you have a you have an identity and a frame of reference. Understand. But there's a lot of people who work in public service. What about firefighters? Or, I mean, this. It, I How many firefighters like, have died? How many firefighters have died in the line of duty this year? Okay, so people can lose their lives in various forms of public service. We can agree on that, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So, I mean, your attempt to kind of elevate police officers above everybody else in society. They should be elevated above every public servant because their job is a lot more dangerous. How many mayors are going to get killed this year compared to police officers? So may, being a mayor is a public service position, but that they're not, it's not the, the danger of being a mayor is not the same as a police officer. My father is a firefighter and been a firefighter for 40 plus years. He's currently the chief of a major fire department. Police firefighters deserve respect as well. Their job is not as dangerous as being a police officer. Teacher. Teacher's job is nowhere near as dangerous as being a police officer. I don't know. I've seen some. What you mean you don't know? How many uh, how many teachers are being killed this year? All right. So okay. So uh, let me just summarize this for you. I feel that your 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 message is that you know police officers deserve more respect and more ad- admiration and maybe more pay than any other public service but let's pivot to why I really called you you okay. you are criticizing uh president biden for not attending a funeral for a fallen police officer correct that's what i heard yes, when i turned on my car yes ma'am okay so you don't know what's in that police officer's internal affairs re- file. You don't know anything. It doesn't matter. He was killed. He was a, he he was killed by a man who had been arrested twenty one times, and he was shot in the stomach and killed on a traffic stop. Routine traffic stop, which every police officer routine knows. is no such thing as a routine traffic stop. That's nothing is routine about a traffic stop. That's how people get killed on traffic stops. It's not routine. It's always an unpredictable situation. So he got killed right, on a traffic so- stop trying to protect the public. So let me ask you this. Are you willing to call out Donald Trump for his systematic? Because I, I let me back up. I feel your position is very incongruent. Donald Trump <laughs> has consistently shown disdain. Primarily judges. For, for now, who? Are you going to tell me for who that you're going to harp on, you know, Unfortunate situations that happen with police officers losing their life and not speak to Donald Donald Trump's behavior in court and the way that he has pretty much threatened judges. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Office Tatum Show. I want to recap real quick what the caller said, then I'm going to bring her back in uh, to finish the conversation. But I never said... Well, let me not go there. I think we're past that point. But at the end of the day, I'm I'm articulating, and I feel like I've articulated very clearly, that law enforcement officers deserve respect. They don't somehow get absolved for paying taxes. They don't somehow get special treatment as citizens. They're citizens just like anybody else in the community. This their community too. And they pay taxes for other cops. People act like cops don't have to pay taxes for for, for law enforcement. Yeah, you, you get paid while you're on duty. But when you're not on duty, you paying taxes like everybody else for the other cops to protect the community. And cops deserve a lot more respect than what they get because that's the most dangerous job in America as far as first responders are concerned is law enforcement officers. They get killed every day. It seems like every day they get murdered for no reason. And the criminal justice system isn't holding people accountable. So a man that has been arrested 21 times? Man, I haven't even been pulled over 21 times. This man has been arrested 21 times times he's clearly a danger to the public if he hadn't killed a cop he would have killed another citizen and nothing is done there but anyway let me let me bring in our caller elaine welcome back to the officer tatum show thank you let's pick up where you left off at you were you were speaking about donald trump's criticism of judges can you can you explain your point there so i can um comment on that well, let me go back to what you just said, which you in, you implicitly implied that someone is out on the street having been arrested 21 times. 
So who are you blaming for that? Well, the person who the person who's committed crimes, one, and in the criminal justice system, two. So let's break down the criminal justice system, putting aside the police force. We have what? District attorneys and judges. Are you blaming them in this particular case that this person had 21 prior arrests and was still out? I'm blaming I'm blaming the district attorney. I'm blaming the judge. If a person has been arrested 21 times and they're not incarcerated. And one reason I'm blaming them is because the police officers obviously did their job because they arrested this maniac murdering person 21 times. But he's not in jail because the people that are past the law enforcement officer's jurisdiction are not holding these people accountable. Do we agree? Name? Can you name his 21 violations? I mean, what are they? I, I can go look it up, but how do you get it? What, what do you think he got arrested for? So just throwing out a magic. No, he got arrested. He got arrested. He didn't get a ticket. He got arrested, ma'am. What do you think he got arrested for? 21 I don't times. Know. He could let's have say been shoplifting. No, no, let's say shoplifting. How does one get okay. arrested 21 times for shoplifting? Is that egregious or not? Well, we have what's called due process in this law, in this country. And just throwing out the number 21 really means nothing. Okay, ma'am. To me. Okay, ma'am. On his 22nd arrest, he murdered a police officer. Okay, but that again. Can we agree that he's a dangerous individual? Times? Can he, can we agree that he's a dangerous individual? I don't know because you're just spouting out things that are sensational. But I don't. What are the facts, ma'am? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me. Let me. Let me. I'm going to school you real quick, and I, and I hope that you're listening. You're not going to. I can look up his. Let me listen to me. You're on my show. I don't know what his charges are. I will bet you $1,000 that he had violent crimes in his charges. A man does not get arrested. A man does not get arrested for, because I did this for a living, ma'am. I was a cop. I did this for a living. A man does not get arrested 21 times, and on his 23rd, uh, and his 22nd time, he murders a cop. A man does not go from getting arrested for shoplifting to murdering somebody. I can guarantee you, if I go back and look at his file, because it's, it's one thing is common sense and then deductive reasoning, I can go back and, and look at his file, and I'll tell you what, he's been arrested for violent crimes. I guarantee you. You do that one day on your show, and let's hear. I'm going to do it right now. You are I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to let you finish talking, and I'm going to do it right now. A former police officer, you're second-guessing the the, the, the the prosecutors and the judges. I mean, you're just. Ma'am, uh, ma'am what are you even talking about? The man was arrested 21 rush. times, and I guarantee you he was arrested for violent crimes, and I'm going to look it up. Finish your next argument. Well, maybe he served time. What do you say? For some of those he did a five no, years in prison. Did. It's coming to me. He did five years in prison on a drug conviction. That's one. All right. Okay. So the system did their job, seems. And robbery. Okay. That's another one. Robbery. All right. Okay. Did he get time for that? I don't know if he got time for that, but he got arrested for robbery. Which one? What's well, the next did. one? Oh, he got let go for the robbery. So he didn't do time on the robbery. Well, maybe they didn't have enough evidence. To maybe they, you, you're making excuses. You're making excuses. The man was arrested 21 times. He killed a police officer. Can we agree that that's wrong? Hold the phone. I wanna, <laughs> listen, I'm going to say this, and I don't know if Elaine is still on the line, but I'll bring her back on because this is fun for me. Let me just uh, explain this for a minute. If a man kills a police officer on a traffic stop, deductive reasoning, common sense, and context clues will tell you that he must, in his mind, had a reason that he thought he had to shoot and kill a police officer. So to me, it's a dangerous criminal, a person who has nothing to lose, and probably is currently doing something they shouldn't do because he don't want to go to jail, so he's willing to kill a police officer over going to jail. That's what it appears. I didn't, I didn't look up his, his crimes at all, but let me just put this in perspective because I knew that a person is arrested 21 times to end up killing the cop is predictable. The man had 21 arrests. Nine of them were felonies. Felonies. He ended up getting convicted of a drug charge, and he just got off parole before this encounter. So the question is, why would he shoot a cop if he just got off parole and he's doing the right thing and he's not doing anything wrong? And the cop just walks up to him, and he was, uh, it must have been something that went on because I think he was getting arrested. And he shoot a cop in the stomach and killed that man. 
who had a wife and, a, and, and like a one-year-old baby at home. There's no justification. There's no, there's no explanation for none of that. I would never commit 21 felonies. That would be insane. I don't even know how you can do anything 21 times. <laughs> All right. Is, is, the, is the young lady still online? I'm still online, and my, and, and my response to that would be, but <clears throat> somebody could do that and have zero arrests. Again, we have to go back to the premise. But it's even worse if you get caught. You must be really cutting up if you get caught 21 times. Again, who who knows what was in this man's mind? It doesn't matter. We all know that he got arrested 21 times. Let's move on to the next next, uh, question that you had. I agree. So I want to ask you if you're willing to call out Donald Trump for his his systematically showing disdain to judges. You do realize— how many he, judges is he showing disdain to? Any judge he's ever in front of, he he shows disdain to. He attacks. Okay, let me family. let me implement this real quick. Let me let me suggest this to you, and then I think we'll agree what? on this. It, no, let me let me establish this real quick, and I think you agree with me. If a judge wrongfully convicts a person in the court of law, is that judge worthy of criticism? It, maybe in through certain means, but we, I understand. Don't don't take me there. I'm talking about his conduct in court, which is being broadcast all over this country. That children are seeing whether you know they're at home with their parents at night. But the judge's conduct is also unbecoming of judges. To to make him pay four hundred and fifty million dollars or put up a bond, and he had to appeal it. And then the appeals court said 175 million is more appropriate, and his children and him and his business can do business with other people in New York. Do you now? What do you that? say about the first judge that 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 was so egregious in his application of a of a, a false reality of the law? Well, you had me on. Why you, does he not so deserve funny. criticism? All right. So while you had me on mute, I asked you three times, do you respect judges? Not every judge. I respect judges that okay. do the right thing and who are upholding. And the same thing with police. I don't respect every police officer either. I okay, respect so people that are the doing critic. their job properly. So you're the Monday morning quarterback. You're the critic. You go behind and decide. But you understand. Can you can you respond to my question? Do you have a problem with the conduct the decorum of no, I don't. Donald I don't have a. I don't have a problem with Trump's decorum and conduct, because I think that these judges, based on their actions, that they are not doing the right thing and not upholding what they've sworn to do as a judge. They are not. Some are, and the ones who are, I respect them. And the ones who aren't, I think they deserve to be criticized. Okay, criticism is one thing, but you. I feel that you are enabling. You are the type of person that is enabling Donald Trump to systematically attack the integrity of our legal system by attacking. These people judges. are systematically attacking the integrity of the legal system when they make the man try to, because of political reasons, they want him to have a $450 million bond. That was excessive. Clearly, the appeals court ruled that that was excessive. And also banning him from doing business with people in New York was excessive. He had to he had to uh, go to court to appeal that. It was excessive. That's unbecoming. Nobody in America thought that that made sense to make him pay that much money. Nobody thought it would make sense. But they did it for political purposes. Now we know because they appealed. Do you think it was appalling yeah. that Fannie Willis was sleeping with the man that she appointed to prosecute Donald Trump or do the special counsel investigation against Donald Trump? Was that appalling to you? Um, I read the judge's order and I agree with the judge's reasoning, but let me go back to a question for you. No, but do, do you, you think she's fair and impartial? Do you think she, she deserves criticism for what she did I'm in that like, trial against Donald Trump? I'm not willing. You, you're trying to nitpick every case we're talking. I'm not you nip. You're nitpicking. I'm telling you a specific incident where a woman was caught having an affair with a man that she then appointed to investigate Donald Trump. She had a clear conflict of interest. And then Donald Do Trump is believe- criticizing this woman, and you think that that's a bad thing. 
Do you believe that Donald Trump attacking okay. people's children is a problem? When did Donald Trump attack somebody's child? He has recently on social Give me media an attacked a judge's daughter. What did he say, ma'am? Twitter today. Go read X. No, no, you X you tell me. You brought it up. Go. I'm on the All air. Right. I can't read it. You tell me since you so, since you remember him attacking so, somebody's kid. In in the last few days, he has gone on social media and attacked a judge's Quote it. daughter. What what did he say? Do your research. You're the radio no. You guy. do your I research. Mean, I'm did no, not. No, do you? All right. He, Donald Trump haven't been on Twitter for the whole year. What 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 platform are you really talking about? Let me ha- let me you, everybody. You this, probably this, don't know because you, know you heard this from about. some news outlet and you didn't do your research. That's why you can't tell me what he said. If he's attacking somebody's kid, you should be able to tell me exactly what he said. At least paraphrase. Yeah. Hold the phone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, welcome back. Let, let me. Uh, <laughs> it's just so entertaining when people call in. And they're so ignorant. And I would never call a person ignorant if they wouldn't say ignorant stuff. I'm okay with people disagreeing with me, but ma'am, you're going to get on there and say that Donald Trump said something. You don't even have to quote. That man ain't, I ain't, that's not Donald Trump's character to talk about somebody's kid. That don't make no sense whatsoever. But people make it up because they hate the man so much. What about the judges and what about this? These liberals and Democrats get on TV every day when the judge is doing something in Trump's favor and they bash the justice system. Every day they claim that black people are getting, uh, uh, har- every day they claim the criminal justice system is systemically racist. But this woman would never say anything like that. But the left say the criminal, they are demeaning the criminal justice system as a whole, saying that it is systemically racist against black people. Every judge, the whole system. But that is not a problem to a person like the lady that just called in. Only when Donald Trump is criticizing the judges that are doing crazy stuff to him. But I got a couple callers calling in. 